Hey guys, welcome to the R3 Superbike Show by TST Industries. I'm Bart. If you don't know me yet, you didn't watch all the other episodes that we've launched. So I will encourage you to watch those episodes. They are fun and you'll see where we've come from in this project. And uh, then you don't have to wonder why we have this praying mantis looking setup here. In the last episode, you guys found out that I crashed a bike at Jennings right after posting a new unofficial record. That's what happens when you start pushing it. I think I got a little overzealous. You know the story. Anyway, assessment of damage. We thrashed our beautiful Yoshimura exhaust, so we got a replacement. It's already on the bike. Uh, we've killed off some fairing pieces. We bent the bracket that holds our upper fairing on. We were able to bend that back. It's in good shape. It'll just go back on. We killed off a clip-on bar and the right-hand frame slider. Frame slider came out, no problem. We just replaced it with what we have in stock. Anyway, onto the big stuff. We bent the fork. Visually, not by much, but when spinning the lower portions around, it was very evident that it was moving. We couldn't use that again, so we have to rebuild it. You see one here, I already rebuilt it. It's what we're gonna be doing today. We have the Andriani cartridges in our forks. That's what we use. Unfortunately, the OEM forks come with a damping rod setup, so there needs to be a modification made to the inner tube that removes one of the components that I'll show you right now. This part is assembled into the fork tube, welded on and then machined down, so there's no simple way of getting it out unless you have a lathe, which we do. So we're gonna show you that a little bit later, and uh, we'll show you the rebuild of this fork leg here and we'll install it on and hopefully we'll get this bike by the Daytona event. We have a CCS Azra racing event there. It's the race of champions. It's the national championship. So I'm hoping to go and put down some fast times and ride against some of the best talent in this country. The guys that show up far exceed my skill level. So I'll have a lot to learn and hopefully get towed by some really fast guys and have a good time. Really looking forward to that. So I'm gonna put all my energy on rebuilding this bike and we'll show you the progress as we go. So enjoy the episode. Let's get to some machining. All right guys, I'm gonna introduce you now to our lathe. It's a Grizzly model 4003. The spindle is actually not large enough on the inner diameter to fit the whole fork tube through to make the machining uh, close to the headstock. So we're gonna make use of our rest. I'm going to thread in the fork cap so that we don't run the chance of deforming the end of this tube. So we have a surface here that is not very critical to the movement of the fork. This is where the bushing goes on and it gets covered by the bushing. So we're gonna turn it on here for the purpose of not marring it up, I'm gonna apply some grease here, make sure that it's all slippery. And that way we will not distort anything here. We'll put scratches in it. I have this all preset because I already did one fork leg. So you don't see any of the adjustments that had to be made to make sure this dials out. I'm going to be making use of a boring bar to go from within and start cutting material out. And then the insert that we're trying to get out will be cut out from its weld that was placed on here and then machined. And then we'll be able to extract this. Pretty simple, but unless you have proper tools, you can't really do it. Ran out of cutting fluid, so nobody judge me for this. This is my cutting fluid for today. It works well enough. That's how we're gonna run this. So lights on and let's go.
All right, so our insert is out. We have a nice finish at the end here. Everything's smooth, nice transitions. We need to remove this fork cap. And now our fork tube is prepped. We will just need to put it through a cleaning process and final inspection. And then we will disassemble the old right side tube, fork assembly rather, and uh, reassemble it with this new straight tube. have it guys finished rebuilding this fork lug to make some modifications to the OEM parts everything came out pretty good very happy with it and I'm going to install it and then move through some other parts that I need to replace and reinstall so let's get that stuff done set my suspension height here. And lock it down temporarily. I will finish going over the torque values a little bit later. Get all these bolts torqued down. Final tighten on the fork cap. And this is good to go. I'm done for now. Catch you next time.